We're told that student right now was taken to a mental facility for an evaluation. The sheriff says he wants to thank that 15 year old who saw something did something. He wants to thank the staff here at the school, the sheriff deputy at the school who helped bring the situation under control and no one got hurt. A viewer sent us this photo. You can see the 19 year old student who's in the exceptional student education program in custody. This photo released by the Martin County Sheriff's Office shows the student minutes earlier on the school bus with a knife. Another student on the bus snapped that photo and sent it to his mother, who then alerted officials at South Fork High School. But before school resource officer Tom Coleman could get that message, he was already on his way to the scene. He uh, attempted to run towards the front of the school where I was forced to deploy a taser to attempt to stop him from harming any children. He was yelling that he wanted to kill people. Coleman says he fired his taser twice, but nothing happened. He then reached for his firearm. At that point, I, I was forced to. I had two non-lethal doses that were completely ineffective. Um, so at that point, I was forced to, you know, prepare for lethal force. The assistant principal, who was also nearby, took off his belt and tackled the suspect. And was able to actually wrap it around the student from behind. Um, tightening his arms up to where we could take him on the ground, subdue, subdue him and remove the knife. He issued this statement Tuesday afternoon. Student safety is our number one priority. I was just doing my job. We all acted quickly to neutralize the situation and I'm thankful that no one was hurt. There's no doubt in my mind that had school staff not intervened, had the deputy not intervened, somebody would have been stabbed today on that school. Now, investigators still trying to determine why that student brought the knife to school in the first place. We did hear that he is dealing with a death in the family.